Just a heads up, this video will contain spoilers to the anime Hataraku Saibo Cells at Work. By now, you probably should have heard of Hataraku Saibo, the anime that personifies cells in the human body, particularly the circulatory and immune systems, and revolves around a directionally challenged red blood cell as she struggles to deliver goods to the respective parts of the body. Every episode will have an event occurring which it is named after, but there is little to no plot advancement except for character development. I recently started watching the anime and was intrigued by how scientifically accurate it is pertaining to the topics of circulatory physiology and immunology. I vouch for that as a biological sciences major and it's praised by scientists as well. Definitely a good revision tool for biology. But a good understanding of biology is not required to enjoy it. The narrator would explain the various cells, functions, and processes. Most of it, except for this scene which I will explain. Spoilers to episodes 6 and 7 ahead. In the second half of episode 6, Neutrophil, or white blood cell, saved a cell from a mysterious threat. Subsequently, Natural Killer Cell, or NK Cell, offered to escort the cell to where the threat originated from, with Killer T cell and Neutrophil joining in. When the group reached the site, Killer T and Neutrophil separated, and NK, now alone with the cell, cornered him, telling him his cover is blown, and his progression allowed him to pass off as a normal cell. It was subsequently revealed in episode 7 that the cell is a cancer cell. What happened in cancer cell's progression that allowed him to pass off as normal? He probably downregulated his MHC1 expression. MHC1, Major Histocompatibility Complex Class 1, is a receptor expressed by all living cells. Through an intracellular pathway, cellular proteins, known as antigens, are packaged together with MHC1 and exported to the cell surface. The antigens presented on MHC1 are analyzed by killer T cells which go by other names such as cytotoxic T lymphocytes CTLs, CD8 positive T cells, but I'll stick with killer T cells to remain consistent. Killer T cells have undergone negative selection to eliminate any cells that recognize antigens belonging to self, and will thus ignore cells expressing self antigens. If the antigen presented does not belong to self, such as during an infection or cancer, Killer T cells can recognize the antigen and induce cell death via apoptosis, which is shown in cancer cells flashback. However, cancer cells have strategies to avoid immune destruction as they progress, which is also one of the 10 hallmarks of cancer. One such strategy is to downregulate expression of MHC1. No MHC1, no cancer antigen presentation, no death by killer T cell. This is when NK cells step in. NK cells initiate cell death by binding to another ligand, but such signals are inhibited by MHC1 binding. Cancer cells which lack MHC1 would therefore be killed by NK cells, but healthy cells would be spared. The story would end here, but since it's anime, all the cells end up in a stalemated fight of epic proportions. During the fight, Killer T cell was suddenly unable to destroy the cancer cell. This is another strategy used by cancer cells in avoiding immune destruction. Cancer cells express CD80 or 86 or PDL1, which binds to CTLA4 or PD1 respectively on killer T cells, thereby inhibiting T cell activity. Of course, NK cells and T cells are not the only immune cells involved in fighting cancer cells. Other immune cells are also involved and they are often recruited by macrophages. Ongoing research also aims to better understand cancer biology and immunology, which is probably beyond the scope of this video. By the way, I'm back to school and with school comes new obligations. These videos will have to take a back seat, but I hope to see you back when holiday comes.